create a compound curve, simple curves meet at the point of compound curve which we designate as PCC. This point is also intersected by the common tangent. Check out more examples for this curve here in engineering surveys. Example number one, a 76.42 meter common tangent RS of a compound curve has an azimuth of 268 degrees 30 minutes. With vertex V, the azimuth of RV is 247 degrees 50 minutes and VS is 282 degrees 50 minutes. Point R is stationed at 10 plus 10.46 with a degree of curve of 4 degrees using chord basis. Requirement A asks to determine stations PC, PCC, V, and PT, and also to compute the radii of the curves. At point R, an azimuth of 268 degrees, 30 minutes, would be drawn to identify the common tangent RS. And from the same point R, an azimuth of 247 degrees and 50 minutes to locate vertex V. And so, from this point, Take an azimuth of 282 degrees, 50 minutes to draw the forward tangent to PT. So angle delta can then be computed as the difference of the azimuths, 282 degrees, 50 minutes, and 247 degrees, 50 minutes, which gives 35 degrees. Another given is the degree of the first curve at PC, which is 4 degrees. This time, it is through chord basis, so we can identify the radius of the first curve by sine of d1 all over 2 is equal to 10 all over r1, where r1 is then computed as 286.56 meters. The other angles can also be computed. By checking the angles provided in point R, we can compute for the difference of the azimuths again, which would actually give the central angle of the first curve. So that is 268 degrees 30 minutes less 247 degrees 50 minutes to give us delta 1 as 20 degrees 40 minutes. And with the definition of angle delta as the summation of the central angles, we can compute for delta 2 by subtracting 35 degrees from delta 1, and that would yield 14 degrees 20 minutes. With R1 and delta 1 already known, we can actually compute all the elements of the first curve. So let's have tangent, which is T1 is equal to R1 times tangent of half of delta 1. Plug the known values to get tangent 1 as 52.25 meters. Also take the length of curve 1, and that is delta 1 times r1 times the conversion of 2 pi all over 360 degrees, which gives 103.36 meters. So to answer the required, take a station at point r, which is 10 plus 10.46, then deduct the backward tangent t to get the station at pc, which is 9 plus 9 158.21. Then add the length of curve 1, that is 103.36, to give the station at PC, which is 10 plus 61.57. In order to determine the location of the vertex, we consider the vertex triangle. We can compute for the last angle beta by subtracting the two known angles from 180 degrees, which would give beta as 145 degrees. Then by using sine law, we get the relationship 76.42 meters is to sine of 145 degrees, and that is equal to RV with a sine of 14 degrees 20 minutes and VS with a sine of 20 degrees 40 minutes. So length RV can then be computed as 32.98 meters. 
Knowing RV, we can now determine the station of the vertex by adding length RV to station R, which would then give us station of V 10 plus 43.44. Next, to be able to identify station PT, one has to know the elements of the second curve, but knowing the length of the common tangent, which is 76.42, we can draw out T2 by deducting T1, and that will be 24.17 meters. T2 is also R2 times tangent of delta 2 all over 2. And by rearranging the knowns, we can compute for R2, which turns out to be 192.22 meters. Take the length of the curve after learning R2 from the formula delta 2 times r2 times the conversion to pi all over 360 degrees, which gives L2 as 48.09 meters. So we can locate station PT from station PCC at 10 plus 61.57, then add length of curve 2 to have station PT at 10 plus 109.66. Example number 2. A compound curve passes through a 300-meter common tangent RS. The first curve at PC has a radius of 290 meters and central angle of 42 degrees. If the radius of the second curve is 740 meters, A, determine the central angle of the second curve, and B, locate station PT if station PC is 20 plus 542.20. With radius R1 and delta 1 given, we can easily have tangent 1 from the formula to be taken as 111.32 meters. The tangent of the second curve can then be identified by deducting R1 from the length of the common tangent, and that would bring us 188.68 meters. Knowing R2 at this point, with a given value of radius 2, we can solve for delta 2 from the formula R2 times tangent of half of delta 2, which gives delta 2 as 28 degrees, 36 minutes. Given station PC, we only need to identify the lengths of curves 1 and 2 to identify station PT. With the same formula, delta times R, times the conversion 2 pi all over 360 degrees, L1 is then solved as 212.58 meters, and L2 would be taken as 369.38 meters. With station PC at 20 plus 542.20, add the length of curve 1, which is 212.58, to reach station PCC, that is 20 plus 754.78. Then add length of curve 2, which is 369.38, to reach station PT, which turns out to be 21 plus 124.16.